Hey guys, Kyle here again from Kyle from Martial Arts. We're going to do another Kung Fu video today. We're continuing on the series of the five animal techniques that we've been working on the last few videos. So far we have done tiger, crane, and leopard. Today we're going to move on to the dragon. So Dominique's here, going to help me out with a couple of these techniques. We're going to do a couple of our dragon techniques to be practiced in the Kung Fu program, as well as show you a portion of the dragon form that we also practice and you'll see how some of those techniques get incorporated into the form. So, all right, Dominique, you want to move back, please? First, we're gonna go over what is called a dragon search. Dragon search is a walking technique across the floor, as you see Dominique doing. So she's utilizing her crane stance, dragon hand posture, stepping and side-to-side -side blocking. Those of you that are familiar with our karate style can also might see that's similar to the kakiuke, a single hand circular block. It's almost the same kind of idea. That technique, as you can see, can be practiced both forwards and backwards. Next, we practice what is called a dragon pounce. This one's a little bit more challenging. It involves a cross step and stepping and punching. So there's two steps and two hand techniques. Cross, punch. They go the same direction. Where it gets the name Dragon Pounce, with a little bit of practice, you eventually do a little bit more speed and effort. You jump, you pounce into the technique. Maybe I'll give you a little bit more time forward facing. So you can see you pouncing towards the camera, going across, block, punch. Just like that. Excellent. Good. And there's one more technique that's really important in this first part of the Dragon form we're going to go over today. Now we can maybe move a little bit closer and face the side. One of them we call kind of Dragon Tail. So you have to imagine your arm. It's like the tail of the dragon, the fist is a bit of a weight, the shoulder is where you're leading from. The rest of your arm should be loose and soft, like a tail, and it wags or swings back and forth. As it moves back and forth with the shoulders and hips, not only can it be a block, forwards or backwards, but it can also then lead you forward, in over top and down into the back fist technique, which you'll see that happens in this form as well too. So, Dominique's going to show the first set of the dragon form for us, and we'll go from there. So, Dominique's going to start with her salutation. The form starts with that dragon pounce. Steps across and blocks that dragon tail. Sweeps across as she spins, back fist. Turn the double chamber, a big kick, and a big jumping chop. Good. She then sweeps behind, does a turning crescent kick, the dragon wing posture to the front in an open stance and claw and back fist back. And that's set one salutation of the dragon form. You can see that all three of those, uh, all, all two of the three techniques, sorry, two of the three techniques were used at that, that dragon pounce and that dragon tail. In one of the next sets of the form that comes up, that dragon search gets used. But the dragon search is the very first dragon technique that everyone learns in the Kung Fu program. Excellent for self-defense. It eventually gets practiced with a partner in that as well, too. So, Dominique, thank you for helping. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed those dragon techniques. And we'll look for you soon for our next Kung Fu video. Bye, everyone.